girl. Hey, my little Juchi Lala. Hey. hey. So this is our morning rituals. Yeah, so this happens every single morning at the dream. Um, this is Ella moment with her beautiful smile. Show us the smile again. Show us the smile. No, come on. Yes, my little girl, come on. Yes, yes, he smiles. That's the smile. Yeah, that's the smile. Looks ferocious. There's no ferocious in this dog. With our days being marked by fast stinky rides, long walks on the beach with Ella running around us freely, soon the feeling of complete sense of relaxation settled in. And although our days seem very repetitive, when thinking about it, the truth is that each day a new detail about this place captured our attention. The change in our perception of colors caused by the different conditions of the weather made us feel like being constantly trapped in a perfect moment. The different tones of the turquoise waters, disturbed only by Ella's shenanigans, seemed unreal, while the heavy clouds that visit us almost daily were always threatening. But one of the most mysterious detail of this place was the pink shimmer we could sometimes see in the sand just above the tide line. It was not the sand that was pink, it was the ground up of pink seashells that lined up the beach that gave this subtle color. Our very silly dog managed to catch um, one of those ropes that has some floaters so that uh, the dinghies can tie up before getting to shore and she's now um, fighting with it, trying to take it with her, but it's caught on the bottom so not sure what, where she thinks she's going. So this really nice anchorage where we've been for a few days now, um, today Sunday has become what I would think is the beginning of the season, summer season in Ibiza and Formentera. So we were maybe five to six boats plus us and this is what we have now. Uh, except for the Nordic one right here in front of us. Um, there is a couple liveaboard. All the other ones are charters. And there's music, there's people screaming, calling the dog. And it just started, I guess. As we were going through footage of the previous year while working on episode 10, we noticed that the propeller anode was missing. A quick dive confirmed that the anode was indeed missing, so we needed to install a new one. <laughs> 